The George Floyd Memorial Hologram, that tour making a stop in Decatur tonight. The tour is aimed at bringing hope and solidarity in the country. 11 Alive's Hope Ford is live at the courthouse with that story. The hologram went up in Decatur Square at about 930 to pay tribute to George Floyd. Back in May, a Minneapolis police officer knelt on Floyd's neck for nearly nine minutes, killing him. Floyd's death sparked protests, including right here in Atlanta. And this tour is traveling throughout the southern states and stopping specifically at areas where Confederate monuments have been removed, like in Virginia and North Carolina. Change.org, that platform actually started the project. And representatives of the platform tell us they hope to transform these spaces and promote forward thinking. Of course, this was the site last month where a Confederate monument was removed from the courthouse after a DeKalb County judge declared it a public nuisance. George Floyd's face uh, isn't the only one here tonight. You'll see these images of black people killed by police, including Breonna Taylor, Jimmy Atkinson, Jamarian Robinson, and Oscar Kane. We talked to the artist behind these chalk drawings, and it took her about seven to eight hours to do these. She said she wanted to put the faces of Atlanta men killed by police on the sidewalk to keep their images out in the public as well. Being that this is such a critical election year, you know, everybody's making promises, to open these cases up, and to do what's right by these people. And these are our young men. These are Atlanta young men. And the hologram won't stay up all night here in Decatur Square. It will come down, and the tour will continue throughout the southern states.